What's up everybody? Today we're talking about the 1.1 million views I got on my first viral TikTok and the 150,000 likes. So if you are not interested in TikTok, if you're not interested in building your own personal brand on an app like that, then you can probably wait until next week for the normal types of videos I'm gonna be doing. If you are though, stay tuned because we're gonna talk about why I think it went viral, what you can do to create content just like that, especially if it's original, and lastly, what actually kind of surprised me about this video. So let's go. So before I talk about the video or the things that I think made the video go viral, I want to share a little bit of a backstory here. I've done a couple of TikTok videos, which I will share right here, and then I'll also share in the description below that touched on me first starting in October, November, joining the creative group, and then again at the 10,000 follower mark. I died out right around 12.8, so 12,800 and some change in terms of followers, and had been producing content almost every single day. And finally, I created this one based on another thing I had seen, and it blew up. Not only did it gain 1.1 million views in a couple of days, it also gained 150,000 likes, it gained 5,000 comments, and then it had a bunch of shares and a bunch of tags. On top of that, that video earned me another 4,000 followers in a very short amount of time. Anybody who's actually watched this channel also knows I am still trying to build my brand. I'm trying to build up my Instagram, I'm trying to build up my TikTok, and I'm trying to build up my YouTube channel around my lifestyle with the goal to share it with everybody. One piece to that is building a brand and finding a medium for that. I am still very pro TikTok in terms of the potential of TikTok and the ability for you to grow your own brand on an app that's not necessarily saturated. So the first thing I'm gonna actually talk about is why I think this video did well and how it's very different from the other videos I've actually posted. Before I do that, I've got to share the video. Get ready. What's up everybody? I wanna share a life hack with you just using a little bit of scotch tape. Take a small piece, put it on your iPhone's front facing camera, and now you've got an Android. So there it is. The first video that I had that actually went viral in my opinion. I've had a couple that have 40,000 views, 50,000 views, but I haven't hit 1 million views yet. And that was the first one. So the first thing I'm talking about is actually why I think this video did well versus all the other ones I have. The first reason was that it was actually funny and provided some kind of surprise at the very end. So no matter which way you slice it, and I'm not saying I'm a comedian, this was something that is funny. There's always a war going on between iPhone and Android users. I saw a meme like this and I thought, why not create something as a video on here? There are plenty of other videos just like this. That doesn't take the fact away that one of the reasons that people continue to watch the video and share the video is that they weren't expecting something. So there's the surprise at the very end. And then the fact that it is funny because this is something that we deal with every single day, whether you have an iPhone, or an Android. Because it was surprising, because it was funny and made people laugh, a lot of people were tagging their friends and actually sharing it. I had plenty of shares as well. That makes a big deal because the more people share that, the more people DM it to other people, the more that people are going to watch, like, and comment on the video. It was ties directly to the very last one, which sometimes the video, and this is how the TikTok algorithm works, is once you actually watch the entire video, is requiring rewatching because back to the very first one, there is some kind of surprise element to it. So you might not actually be ready by the time the video finally ends and you hit the punchline. The fact that the tape is actually creating an Android out of an iPhone. So really, out of a lot of the people that liked the video, a lot of people that shared the video, I probably got at least two views, two total views from each person, or at least half the people. So those are the three big reasons I think that this video did well. So the reason you're probably watching this video, if you're actually paying attention to TikTok and you're building the brand, is number two, and how you can create content just like this. For somebody who's been on TikTok for the last seven months, and this was my first time from zero to 16,000 followers, a lot of the content on TikTok is actually things that are trending, hashtags that are trending, sounds that are trending. So if you stray from that at all, it's kind of challenging to actually build up your own original content and have it do well. With that said, it is possible. This video that had 1.1 million views had a sound that was tied to my name, so Josh CTV. It had my own voice on it. It had regular 
hashtags, nothing that was actually quote unquote trending. So how can you do the same thing? I think one of the big things here that is very prevalent in this video is that a lot of people can actually connect with this. They understand this. They laugh at this because this is a real issue for some people with an Android. I'm not knocking Android phones. It's just the fact that some do suck. So because of that, people connected with this. And so with that advice, to make content just like this, my first piece would say, take stuff that is funny to you during your day if you wanna do comedy and plug it into a TikTok. You just have to sit down, think about some of the things that possibly are funny that make you laugh and then actually create it into some kind of creative TikTok. That's the first piece. Just pay attention to what's going on throughout your day that makes you laugh and it might actually be hilarious to a lot of other people because there is some way to be connected there. So that's the very first thing. Document your own day. The second piece is maybe comedy isn't your thing. I've got a couple videos in there that are actually all travel videos and one that did really well from South America. I did add a featured song to it, but the video wasn't that amazing. It ended with a very unique ending. It was somebody sliding down a massive sand dude and she just continued to shrink until she reached the car at the very bottom of the dune, but it made people watch it a couple of times because it was crazy to see how big the actual dune was. So what I did there was the same thing I'm talking about in the very first tip, and that's just to document what you're doing. If comedy isn't your thing, that's okay. Go ahead and just document what you're doing throughout the day because one, either people will connect with it, or two, they're gonna find that it's really cool to watch the video, and we'll wanna share that too. So back to the very first thing, sharing, wanting to share the experience. My last tip to create some kind of viral content like this is actually gonna be to use a featured sound, use a featured hashtag, so somehow tie into some of the things that TikTok wants you to use, and then share the video that way. I've got a couple videos on my TikTok that are actually me flying, or me traveling and I've added in a featured sound, tied it to a featured hashtag and they've done pretty good. So my three tips for creating some viral content is one, document things that are actually making you laugh all day long, so your normal stuff. If you wanna go the route of comedy, number two is just document your normal travels and your day to day because either it's gonna also be funny and somebody's gonna connect with or they're also gonna really enjoy watching what you're actually doing such as snowboarding or flying or things like that. And number three is to take a combination of your own original content and and throw in those featured sounds, the featured hashtags, the stuff that TikTok wants to use and is continuing to push to help your content go viral. The last thing I wanna talk about in this video is actually the things that surprised me. And there were just a couple. One was the fact that this was my first video to actually go viral that was original content. And by original, I mean I still got the idea from a meme. I did not just create this idea out of nowhere, but it was still my video, it was still my tape. So by original contact, I mean by TikTok original content. It's filmed by me, it's my audio, which ties to the second part. There was no featured sound. There wasn't any trending hashtags on there. I, I created it purely out of what I thought was funny and what I thought were the right captions and of course the right hashtags. That was a little surprising to me because TikTok is very big on a lot of the trends and challenges that they have right now, even have a trending page. And of course your For You page is actually where the majority of your likes actually come from. The second thing that really surprised me was just the amount of comments and engagement that I had to do on my side. It was my first video that went viral. It was the first video that I really had to respond to a lot of comments and engage back with followers, people that were responding. And while it was really cool to see some of those responses like this one, it was still really challenging to keep up with it. So I'm actually surprised by how much time it took to actually continue to engage with the followers. I feel for the people that are at the half a million followers and every single video is getting this amount of views and this amount of likes. The third thing that surprised me was actually the content in the actual comments. A lot of them were positive, a lot of them were like, hey, this is just a joke, but then some were actually kind of like this and like this. There were comments that were saying it was rude, that people are too poor to afford an iPhone versus an Android. There are people that were pretty aggressive in, in saying a couple of things to me. It was out of control and it was just for a Android iPhone video. So it was kind of shocking to see how some people actually respond on social media and how what people actually say. I have to commend TikTok for actually deleting some of the comics on their own. A lot of times I just liked them. The ones that I disagreed with, I liked it, left it alone, didn't matter. The rest I did engage with, which did give me a little bit of hope, especially when I saw some people were so surprised by me commenting and engaging back. They were actually like, oh my God, thank you for commenting back, which is just crazy. If you're on TikTok, 
engage with your people. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope this helped you out, especially if you are trying to create the next viral video for you, or you are just trying to create on TikTok. I hope these tips really do help you. The things that I've seen on the video, the things that have actually allowed me to gain the 16,000 followers and of course get my first viral video. I will continue to do content for TikTok and social media in the things that I'm trying to build up my brand. So every once in a while I will have a video like this. If you like this type of video, go ahead and press like, go ahead and press subscribe and you can come on back. It might not be every single video, but I do plan on sharing my growth from the bottom all the way up to the top in terms of social media growth. Hope everyone has a great weekend. I will see you for the normal content. I'm actually heading over to Wisconsin and then of course over to Seattle. So I plan on having some excellent content here in the next couple of weeks. See ya.